This is unique. I'm uh, here as part of the uh, Seb Delaney channel takeover. Uh, I can't speak for a few weeks, which must suck. So hope you're feeling better, Seb. Uh, the idea, I believe, is for uh, fellow YouTubers and content creators to sort of contribute to his channel for this video. Um, I'm on an interesting excursion today. I'm out in the GT3. Anyone who hasn't uh, seen this car yet, I'm, I'm planning on, I'm trying to achieve 100,000 miles in this car. Not necessarily the most conducive car to 100,000 miles, but do you know what? I've been living with this car now for the best part of two years, uh, and it just ticks so many boxes. It's got such a wide breadth of ability, everything from road trips, track days, uh, rallies. We've done Gumball Rally in a GT3. Sadly, due to the COVID situation, I wasn't able to use this car on the rally last year, but who knows, maybe this year. A uh, quick overview, it's in uh, a color called crayon or chalk, depending on uh, what part of the continent you're in. Uh, this is uh, sort of strategically spec'd in a way, in that uh, I really wanted the uh, 918 carbon-backed bucket seats, because from a driving position point of view, they're gorgeous, but I've also actively wanted no cage in the back so I could fit things like bags and shoes in there. <laughs> um, it's currently on 30,500 miles. In fact, on this journey down here, it might have done 30,600 miles. What we are, yeah, there we are, look. 30,658 miles. So still a long way to go yet before we do 100K, but uh, yeah, I'm on the journey and ultimately this car is a keeper. It's also not an auto. You'll notice the uh, conveniently placed three pedals and manual gear stick there, which for me just makes it a timeless version of this car. Anyway, let's uh, share with you something else, which is basically the opposite end of the spectrum. So today I'm taking one of these delightfully specced Taycans uh, for a drive to the bunker, which is my studio, which I launched uh, last year. So I'm gonna take you for somewhat of an exclusive walk and talk around there uh, while I drive one of these select specced Taycan rear wheel drives. Seamless transition. Welcome to the bunker. Car recording studio, effectively. Uh, called the bunker because it is on an XRAF base. Uh, we're actually in an ammunition store, X -am ammunition store, which is literally uh, built to take a bullet. It's reinforced concrete and bricks and steel. Uh, but we've converted it into our studio to record cars with, hence lights and big light bars up there and things like this. Uh, this might give you an idea, actually, of. Uh, how weird the, the paint color is on this tie cam. Yeah, check it out. It's like a sort of 80s nail polished lilac sort of shade. Anyway, um, yeah, we installed a turntable in here. A uh, reason being it's not that big a space and uh, we wanted to turn cars around and keep the continuity of the shot. So if we'd have taken it outside, so this is the main roller shutter door to access cars in and out. Typically when we're filming, it's raining. So if we were to take it outside and then bring it back in again at a different angle, we'd have to wipe the car down again and basically reset our shot. But on here, we can just spin it around on the turntable. So that's a really welcome addition to this place. We've got the big uh, soft light box up top, and then we effectively have our own portable lights here to light scenes, depending on whereabouts we're filming. Uh, we also have resident artists. So artists uh, basically like the exposure of things and they come and drop off uh, various artifacts and things like this. So we have here a carbon fiber sturgeon, words which I never thought would leave my mouth. Uh, you'll notice there's somewhat of a Soviet theme happening there that was supposed to be going to the Russian art fair last year, but um, yeah, COVID happened. So the art fair didn't happen. And the guy thought it would be uh, better placed here to get some exposure. Fun fact, this piece of wood that it's on is actually the skidboard from Nico Rosberg's Formula One car. And this is a gear selector cylinder also from an F1 car. So some cool things in here. And there is uh, lots of F1 themed artworks around about the place as well. We've got Lando Norris up there and Nicky Lauda with Lewis Hamilton, a bit of a weird vintage meets contemporary vibe going on there and Senna here with some diamond dust on it you see how it, how it sparkles pretty cool stuff uh, this is also a lamp uh, which has been converted from the uh, fuel pump of f1 days of old so when there was fuel stops this is the the end that would ultimately get pumped into the f1 car guys would hold this depress it and in would pump the fuel not into this car this is an electric car. Uh, if you haven't seen how you open the uh, electric filling cap on a Taycan, typically that's not doing that now, isn't it? Oh, there you go. 
yeah, swipe to unlock, and there's your uh, charging port, which I always thought was quite cool. It's like a sort of swipe to unlock iPhone application, which for some reason, oh, there we go. Yeah, that's quite a trick function. Anyway, so yeah, this is our our main space. Filming cars, and then in there, we'll take you through to what was originally intended to be podcast lounge. Um, but because we haven't been able to have any guests over, uh, this has so far just been the lounge for ourselves where we do editing and things like that. So we've got this big TV screen up here that we often have on in the background uh, when we're filming cars. So if we're filming a Porsche, we'll throw a Porsche up on there. Uh, this is a solid bronze model of Ayrton Senna in the position he would have been when he was going up um, a Rouge or Radion as the appropriate terminology for the corner would be at Spa and the guy uh, who created this is an artist called Paul Oz. Uh, he actually struck that pose wearing Ayrton Senna's actual helmet, gloves, race suit and boots uh, and got in one of those studios where th there's like a 360 degree capturing rig which snapped him in real time in, in 360 and then he was able to create a mold from that. And it just so happens that the gear he was wearing is here. So this is actually uh, Ayrton Senna's real boots, real gloves, real race suit, and real helmet. Although that helmet was never race worn, but it was a real Ayrton Senna helmet. So, yes, very honored to have that stuff in here. And those were the components which created this sculpture here. Very cool indeed. Another massive Paul Oz painting of Lewis. And then we've got some artifacts and things up here. Some more homage to Porsche. We've got a outline of Le Mans from uh, attending the race at Le Mans with Aston Martin, 2018. This is an original 996 brochure that was given to me by a salesman when I was young, and that gave me the inspiration to one day own a new Porsche. So thank you, Mr. Salesman, for that. Uh, more Le Mans memorabilia. I was given this uh, after driving a Renault Formula One car at Paul Ricard. Lots of Michelin stuff, trophy from a Caterham race last year. Yeah, it's a fun space. We like hanging out here. It's good to edit, good to hang, get some music and tunes on there. And it's uh, all in all a pretty creative space. And uh, walking through here, we have the toilette in here, which also, that by the way, is one of those fuel filling uh, mechanisms that is unfinished. So that's what it looks like before it's been treated and turned into a posh lamp. So anyway, so we've got a random blade here from a Rolls-Royce jet engine. We've got our COVID track and trace measures in place. Everyone comes in, scans in the QR code, pumps some good cleaner on their hands. And this is our tiny little kitchen, which we don't put a priority on because it's all about this room here. So uh, yeah, just thought I'd give you a quick walk and talk because Seb uh, can't talk. And hopefully I'll be seeing him and you soon. Uh, we really, really good to get some more road trips going on in Monaco, wouldn't it, Seb? So if you can arrange that, let us know. We'll be over. Uh, thanks very much for watching. See you next time. Ciao.